guys, it's uh, Sam here from Ashdown Jones and Joe from Ashdown Jones. <laughs> and today I wanted to talk to you about when's the best time to sell your house. Now, obviously, there are lots of different times to sell lots of different kinds of houses, uh, but we were specifically asked the other day about uh, a family home, somebody who mm. was um, considering upsizing and, um, and who was wondering whether now was a good time to sell the home or whether to wait until the spring. So as we record this, it's the 11th of September. Yep. And you, you, we can just start to see the, set of the leaves just turning a tiny, tiny bit. So we've got a bit of a, an autumnal tinge in the air, but it's not quite autumn yet. And uh, we think that September is a really good time to sell, particularly if you're upsizing, and particularly if the house you've got, somebody would upsize to two, <laughs> two as well. So we're gonna give you seven reasons, and you may have seen we've got blogs about this, we've got um, lots of uh, information and content about this on our website and also on the Facebook page, so do check it out individually. But we'd just like to run through our seven reasons why September is a great time to sell your house and, um, uh, and see what you think. So the first reason why September is a great time to sell, particularly a family home or um, uh, when you're upsizing, is because New Year for a parent is very often the first of September or the beginning of September when people go back to school, when children go back to school. And uh, because of that, anybody that's in academia at all, so whether they um, are a teacher, we've got lots and lots of teachers in this area because we've got some great local schools, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And also if, you're, if you've got kids at school, then actually September does feel sometimes more of a new start, more of a new year than actually new year itself. So new year, new start, quite often new home, September. So that was number one. Okay, so in um, September as well, sometimes uh, there's a slightly smaller volume of buyers out there, but they're a higher motivated buyer. They've got time constraints to uh, get a property sorted for Christmas potentially. Mm, yeah. uh, they may be looking to move the child um, from the schools at that time to some holidays towards the end of the year. Mm. Um, and it's, um, it's people who are ready to say yes when they find the right property. Mm, yeah, it's um, the smaller, the smaller number, but they're definitely keener. Yes, there. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we hear this a lot, you know, we'd really like to be in for Christmas or we'd really mm. like to be in for, you know, uh, and it's usually a term time, sort of Easter, uh, summer, but actually Christmas is a really strong one because when somebody goes to view, and we've had a few viewings last week where they were all talking about where they put the Christmas tree, so it's a really strong motivator yeah. as to when somebody's going to move house. So that was number two, um, that they want to be in for Christmas. Number three is if you yourself are thinking about selling your house and your children are back at school, chances are your house may be a bit tidier during the day. Now, not always, but I do have friends who are parents and I've got, I'm a, a grandparent myself, and I know that in the summer and in the long school holidays, quite often it's quite difficult to keep the house tidy. So actually having, um, having a tidy house where the kids aren't in during the day sometimes is a bit, a bit easier on you as the homeowner to think about selling your house in September. Number four. Number four, so things get a lot cosier when it gets a bit colder. I love autumn. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got the colours of the leaves changing, as Sam said, but also in the house you're more likely to have fires on, mm. you'll be keeping the house nice and warm, the lights will look much prettier when yeah, things are getting a bit darker lit. earlier on, mm. so even for those sort of later viewings at you know, four or five o'clock, it's still going to be starting to get towards twilight. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things we do at Ashdown Jones that's... Um, Becoming really popular uh, with some of our sellers is taking photography at twilight just as we get past dusk um, and showing how the house illuminates in the evenings mm -hmm. um, and that those those uh, create a, a, a kind of a different emotional kind of shot really for people. Yeah, that's a good point. point. Yeah, they do feel like an emotional shot, don't they? Because yeah. you're not buying bricks and mortar, nor are you selling bricks and mortar. You're buying into a lifestyle and actually seeing the house all kind of twinkly and yeah, welcoming in the evening is lovely. Yeah. Yeah, a really good shot that I like is quite often from the back of a garden to the back of the house where you've quite often you've got more glass, like a yeah. conservatory or big kitchen windows, and seeing all those lit up in yeah, the twilight. Yeah, the reflections of the lights in the windows. Yeah, yeah. It's so very pretty. pretty. <laughs> yeah. In the summer, our twilight photography literally has to happen at close to 11pm. So it actually gives us a break as well in autumn <laughs> <laughs> to be able to get the twilight shots done at a reasonable time. At the moment, it's probably about tea time to seven o'clock, something like that, and mm. then it'll get earlier and earlier. Yeah. It's probably about three o'clock by the time we get to <laughs> December. So that was number uh, four, that it's much cosier in your house, much more welcoming. Uh, number five is an interesting one for family owners, and that's that it's actually normally uh, quite often 
onto Colpe Garden in September. So instead of being in, and I was going to say, this summer is not being typical at all, is it? Well, maybe it has been typical because we're in the lakes, but uh, we, it's raining right now outside the window as, um, as, as I'm looking and I'm thinking, we haven't really had that great a summer, but if we had, if it was a, it was a good summer, then over the summer, your house, when you're a family, quite often feels bigger because you're out in the garden, your doors are open, your kids are running in and out, dogs are running in and out. But in the winter, you kind of, you know, contract a little bit into your house and the doors get shut. And so your house feels smaller, particularly if you've got big, you know, toys and stuff for younger kids. So being smaller at this time of year is good for those people who are thinking about upsizing into a bigger house because you're going to feel that much, much more um, keenly in September, October. And, uh, okay, so um, we're on to number six, and in the Lake District, I think this is, um, you know, especially important because lots of houses in the lakes are surrounded by woods and trees. Mm -hmm. As we get towards autumn, the leaves are dropping and views start to expand. Um, everything's still very green and lush at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, so although you don't have the blooms from, you know, the spring flowers, you, you give people um, potentially better views from the property, mm -hmm. um, and they might be able to see a little bit rather than just sort of maybe being bombarded by the wrong colour rhododendrons. <laughs> yeah, you're right. uh, yeah, I mean, we've got a couple of properties on that immediately spring to mind. Uh, Amberwell, if you haven't ever seen it, that has got a fantastic view of the lake uh, in the winter and a partial view of the lake in the summer. So obviously, even though this the summer is a nicer time to view a garden, mm. actually being able to see the view, which is kind of the point of a lot of lake district yeah. houses, is really important. Yeah. And we've got a new property coming into market as well, which I'm not going to tell you about just yet, but that has got amazing views, even more so since they've just been doing some tree clearing and stuff. So, nice. yeah, watch this space. Okay, so that was number six, that you get a better view, but your garden still looks nice. It's not a winter garden at that point. Um, and that's another good point, actually, I should probably mention, that if you are thinking about going on the market in February, March, now is the time to get us out because we can get the photographs arranged before all the leaves drop so that when you do go to market in February, March, your garden is looking great on the photographs. So we've done that quite a few times to people where we've taken the photographs six months before um, six months before we actually go to market to make sure you're showing your property with, the, with beautiful photographs. So we'll probably include some winter ones as well, but people want to see what it looks like in a more summery kind of look to the garden. Uh, so the last reason, number seven, why September is a great time to sell your home, uh, particularly uh, a family home, is that your viewers are also probably child free because they can look at your house during the day while their kids are at school. So they're relaxed, they're not hurried, they can probably stop for a cup of tea. They're not worried about their child, I don't know, poking a dog and jumping up and down the sofa. Uh, they, so they're not a hassle, you know, it's nice for them to be able to view without a child in the way. Um, not the children in the way, but you know. <laughs> Well, they are kind of in a way. It can make things a bit more tricky. <laughs> it can make things, yeah. And you feel like you're constantly apologising, telling them not to go there and everything. Yeah. So, yeah, that's not easy. So, there are seven reasons why selling in September um, is, we think, a really good idea, particularly if you're selling or buying a family house or preferably both. But if you've got any reasons why you think September is a great time to sell your house, we'd love to hear from you. So, drop us a message here on the page. Um, but for now, this is Sam and Joe saying goodbye. And goodbye. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching and you're busy very wet Monday and uh, we'll speak to you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.